railway um, was a project that built a brand new railway of 30 miles between Edinburgh and Tweedbank in the Scottish borders, passing through um, towns in Midlothian and the Scottish borders. It was mainly built on the site of an old railway that was closed in 1969 as part of the beaching cuts, um, and a long campaign um, was waged by local communities to reopen the line. And finally, in April 2013, construction of the new route began. Um, and was completed um, in June 2015 and the new railway opened in September 2015. And there are 49 kilometres of track including passing loops and so on. Seven new stations, um, six of which have extensive new car parks, which means that people can of course travel from across the region to use the railway. There are 140 bridges and tunnels um, across the route, around 90 of which were refurbished from old structures from the original railway. Um, and the remainder are brand new structures. One of the 140 bridges to cross the route is the Edinburgh City Bypass, which is one of the busiest uh, roads in Scotland. Um, in order to build a tunnel under that road that the railway could pass through, we had to reroute the road temporarily, so build an entire new section of road adjacent to the existing one, build a tunnel underneath the existing road, and then reinstate the existing road after that. And that was achieved with with no complaints or impact on traffic movements at all during that period. So that was a huge success of the project. We're standing now at Shawfair Station, which is the first or the most northerly of the new stations on the route. Behind us you can see one of many new bridges that were built as part of the construction of this railway. This used to be the site of Moncton Hall Colliery, which was closed I think only in 1998. So it required a huge amount of mining remediation work in order to make the site viable for building the new railway and the new station. And as a result of the, the railway, um, there's going to be massive investment into this area with plans for a new town and 4,000 new homes. The route also passes through a number of existing local communities um, which are all prospering hugely as a result of the new railway. Um, we also during construction had to be very mindful of the impact that this large project would have on those communities um, during that three year period. Um, and this is an excellent example of a project working very closely with schools um, and local businesses and the councils to really engage with communities um, and generate excitement about the project but also to help them to understand how it would affect them during that period. This project has been a huge success. It was delivered on time um, and on budget despite significant engineering challenges and complexities. And since it's opened, its the passenger numbers have far exceeded predictions at 2.6 million over the first two years. To such an extent that we're already extending car parks um, and there are demands even for an extension to the route beyond Tweedbank towards Carlisle. None of this would be possible without the hard work of some amazing civil engineers on this project. And this is just one example of so many railway projects that are going on during this amazing new age of the railway. Such an exciting project to work on and really the highlight of my career so far. It was just amazing to be part of such a great team um, across the railway industry, but of, of course also bringing together um, local authorities and communities to deliver an amazing project. Um, and this really is an example of how working on civil engineering projects can transform people's lives and also provide great fulfilment to the people who are in the fortunate position to be able to work on them. Um, I'll never forget being on uh, the first train um, down the route as part of the opening celebrations and to see the route lined with thousands of people from local communities cheering on that train um, with banners and people on the train just so excited to finally see the railway here and so excited about the opportunities it brought for them and their families.